Welcome back to Taste Like Disney. I'm Joey. This is Sophie. And I, wait, wait a second. Th this is not, this isn't Sophie. This is her stuffed animal friend. Uh, Sophie. Okay. Welcome back to Taste Like Disney. I'm Joey. This is Sophie. This is Fred. They had me fooled there for a second. Uh, <laughs> and I just want to say Happy New Year. And today we're making a New Year's Eve or New Year's Day holiday libation. And that drink is called the Christmas Old Fashioned. And they serve it at the Boathouse in Disney Springs. And I have only had drinks at the Boathouse, to be honest. So I, I need to go there sometime and eat because the food looks fantastic. I've watched other YouTubers go there for brunch and it looks insane. As a matter of fact, I think they serve this drink at brunch. I'm, although you can probably get it anytime you want. Okay, so Sophie has a question. She's a dog, she can't talk, but she can write. So she, she writes questions on note cards for me to read, questions or comments. And today is, I thought you were making a New Year's Eve libation. Yeah, see, sometimes she throws me a curve. Uh, yes, I figured this would be good for New Year's Eve as well, as because it is Christmas. It's a Christmas cocktail, but I thought it would work just as well for New Year's Eve. Uh, it, it will for me, whether or not it does for anybody else, Sophie. I guess we'll find out. So let's do it. This is going to be fantastic, you guys. I, I say fantastic a lot, don't I? I? I think I say the three, the same three words, quite often. I don't know, but anyway, so the Christmas Old Fashioned, although we will be calling it the New Year's Eve slash New Year's Day Old Fashioned, is about to begin. That, that doesn't make any sense either. Um, the Christmas New Year's Eve, New Year's Day Old Fashioned is about to be made. I guess, I don't know, this, this is not going well. Okay, let's do it. And let me know in the comments if you have had brunch or any any meals at, at the boathouse, because I would love to know how it is. Like I said, I, I've only had drinks there. Maybe appetizers. Maybe appetizers, but that was like three years ago. Uh, oh, and they also have the aqua cars there, which are cars that can go on land and sea. Uh, but they only fit three people, and we had four the day that we were there. Although, we, I mean, we've been there many days, but it seems like all the any time we go there, we have four. So I guess you get two cars, two and two. But then you don't have to do math and it doesn't go well. This recipe is from the DisneyCruiseLineBlog.com. And I'll leave a link to that in the de description of the video.
Okay, first of all, you're going to put a ice cube in your glass, and I, I don't have an official old-fashioned ice cube. I think they use rocks most of the time, right? Or maybe not, but like an ice cube, it's not quite as big. This is a this is a Death Star mold from Star Wars, and see, it's not frozen all the way, but I kind of need to get this done. So we're going to use this. Hopefully, it won't ruin it. When you do it, make sure that your ice cube is actually frozen. So we're going to put that down there. Oh, it broke. All right. So we're not going to do that. All right. So just pretend that this is a frozen ice cube. What in the heck? Okay. So I'm just going to use two ice cubes from our refrigerator ice cube maker and pop those down there and use a festive glass. I, I didn't have any Christmas ones, so this is a haunted mansion. But, you know, when you do it, make sure to use a festive glass. Okay, and then add to your glass a quarter ounce of your cranberry rosemary simple syrup. And then two dashes of orange bitters. Or a little more. And then two ounces of whiskey or bourbon. I'm using bullet bourbon, which is my favorite. So two ounces of that. All right, give it a stir. Garnish with a sprig of rosemary, which this is all I have left. It's not the best looking piece of rosemary. And garnish with some cranberries. And I'm, all I had was a tropical umbrella pick, which was the only thing I had that was ocean themed or nautical themed since it is from the boathouse. And there it is, the Christmas New Year's Old Fashioned. All right, so, be so um, are you going to spend New Year's Eve with me this year? Or are you going to go out with all your friends again? Because uh, well, I was kind of hoping that you would spend it with me. Alrighty, here it is. Christmas old fashioned. Let's give it a try. Oh wow, that's delicious. The cranberry actually tastes takes some of the bite out of the out of the bourbon. If you can believe that. I mean I don't know why you wouldn't believe that, but if you can believe that, the cranberry takes some of the bite out of the bourbon, that's delicious. Oh my gosh, I have to try that at the boathouse. I, we're, we're going next month, unfortunately. I don't know if they'll still have it. Probably not. But this is fantastic. Yeah, let, let me know in the comments if you've had this and what you thought of it, because this is, this is perfect for Christmas, New Year's, New Year's Eve. Well, I guess New Year's Eve comes before New Year's. Christmas, yeah, Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's. I know I probably sound like I've had a few of these already. I actually haven't. <laughs> to be honest, the more of these I have, the the more coherent that I will sound. As Sophie, she'll, she'll tell you. Uh, anyway, this is something else. So that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, please subscribe. But more importantly, if you didn't like it, you should also subscribe because you can make fun of me like Sophie does every day. She's doing it right now. And if you're confused by all of this, just think of how I feel. Wow.
just. <laughs>